OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network Good morning, everyone, and I, I hope everyone is ready to learn. Um, one note, and I am, I don't know about you, I am actually excited about learning myself because I keep seeing new, new tools. So I hope that you also are excited to learn a, a thing or two or a lot or none. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to expect um, not learn you know anything but at least i hope you take uh, a piece or two home so let's get started i today's workshop is on one note and it is known as your digital notebook someone said that i don't know what that is in the chat so i am so glad that you said that and thank you for that one note is your digital notebook so Without further ado, Melinda already introduced me. I'm Farzana. I work at Evans Community Adult School, and I, it is part of LAUSD. Um, before that, I want to let you know a few minutes ago, I somehow got kicked out. So that means my internet is the one. Um, so in case I get kicked out again, please don't run away. I am coming back. I'm very fast coming back. So just to let you know. I hope it doesn't happen again and no one is using any internet in the house, but you never know. So first, Anna, to help mitigate that, you might go ahead and turn off your video. Yes, okay. yes. Actually, I just turned it off. Excellent point. All right, so let's get started. So one note. Today's agenda is this. One note, what you are looking at is things that you can do depends on you know how um, creative you are even if you're not creative you, you will learn a few things that you can make it look neat and you know take notes so this webinar will cover what is one note of course briefly something that you can take home and understand what one note is and we're going to go over ways to sign in those of you who have uh, joined me in the past two uh, webinars uh, sessions and you may already know how to sign in I'm going to go over again for those um, for everyone anyway. And on the agenda is we're going to take a tour of the OneNote home pages. Yeah, but the reason I said home pages is because we're going to go to two different places. OK, so do not worry when you if you notice I have a live demo. So this this PowerPoint itself is very short. Even if you were to take this PowerPoint, you won't have much to go on other than a few slides. But what you may want to do is if you were to watch it again and, you know, take some notes uh, after this workshop um, that it will be a recording. So due to that reason, when I say number three live demo, it means you need to watch the, the video that uh, Melinda is already recording. And in that live demo, I'm going to go over what the desktop version and web versions is. Just for the record, for this particular workshop, I am going to use desktop version as it allows me to have more tools and more you know flexibility and you will all like it too since you all have um, district or organizations um, our school account to download it to your own desktop or laptop computers um, so due to that reason i am going to focus with uh, on desktop but those of you who still want to go and you know sort of at least familiarize it yourself, then you can follow along with web version. And we are going to go and I will show you how we can capture and organize your world with OneNote. What it means is the information, things that you will need. That it's a remember, it's a digital notebook. What do you do in a notebook? You jot down your to-do list, you jot down your um, ideas, you jot down your um, information that you receive from people or yourself. That is the same concept. Instead of writing on a notebook in a binder or somewhere with a pen or pencil, you will be doing it with in digital, um, in the digital world. What you will do is you're going to create an add text, not that you're going to do it with me today, unless you are um, 
you know, you have two screens and you are savvy and you're fast enough to follow along, this is absolutely, you're welcome to do so, but I will show you how to create it, add text, notebooks, you know, um, the, the um, uh, other tools that you can really make use of. And I will, of course, show you how to insert page templates. I am a type of person who like to use templates because if somebody has done the wheel, taken, you know, done the um, invent the wheel for me, I will use that wheel. Um, so, and then of course, if you were to print your, now nowadays we won't be printing, but of course, if you were to print and I will show you how to set the paper size and of course, last, um, lastly, for this workshop will be on how to sync and share your digital notebook. Most of the time, um, I, I personally don't share digital notebook, but once in a while I do. But, you know, it's, an, it's my notebook, not always I share, but that doesn't mean you cannot share. Absolutely, you can share. That's what, that's the, uh, what's on the agenda. One last thing is I will also show you how to export it onto an other formats, which is, you know, PDF. And these are very brief. So hopefully we'll get to all of them. And let's talk about what is OneNote in the past or currently we have, we grab any little post-it notes or a piece of paper or envelope, uh, you know, or whatever it is, uh, um, or, you know, pen, pencil attachment, some kind of stuff we do to take notes currently, right? All of us do. I just did this morning. And sometimes we have phone available, uh, you know, in, in our hands, then so we just use the phone to jot down some ideas. But now with OneNote, if you are using OneNote on desktop, and you are working like, you know, work from home type, that you want to go ahead and, you know, start, you know, take notes and, and have your materials, information, anything organized you can start using Microsoft OneNote. So it is a digital notebook where you can place all your notes and information that you need to remember and manage. And most of us are organized um, or some of us are not organized. The reason is the reason I use both is because there are days I am very organized. There are days I am so disorganized, but no matter what, or whatever day that we are in, we can, we, whatever notes that you have on a piece of paper or stuff like that, you can bring them all in, in one note and then you can have um, digital notebook. It is designed for research, note taking and information storage. Of course, we are storing information, right? Think of it like a notebook. Imagine yourself, you have a blue binder with sections. So it is your notebook, or a, if it is not a binder, but it's an actual thick, you know, um, a notebook with sections. And then in each section, you have pages, right? This, that's the concept. Just remember the word notebook. Imagine yourself, you have a notebook with three or five or however thick your notebook is. And then each one has a color, right? E each section has a color, a blue, and then, or maybe a, some kind of a, 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 you know, different colors in between the pages. That's a, your section. And then in each section, you have pages. So that is the concept that you must remember uh, when you, whenever somebody say, um, you know, uh, what one note is create and manage multiple notebooks. And that means th things that you can do. You can have your own personal um, notebooks or your own, your work or staff notebooks. Notebooks never run out of paper. So don't worry about going, running, running out to 99 cent store and, you know, getting all these notebooks. You can, e you can easily organize and reorganize and print and share. So you can search all your notes quickly. Sometimes you may be in your in your, in one page, you may be like looking typing something, but the page, you know the information is too long and you don't remember what is what. You can find it easily. And those of you who are more curious about you know what else is, and you are welcome to uh, when you receive this PowerPoint, you can go ahead and click on it and read more about it. Various ways to sign into OneNote. Um, just. Um, before I go on, um, is there everything okay, Melinda? 
It looks fine. There have been no questions. So I think we're, we're good to go. Okay. Various ways to sign into OneNote. Those of you, as I mentioned it before a few minutes ago, that I will be use the, using the OneNote desktop version. And so if you are going to follow along with me, you might want to go ahead and find OneNote by going to start button and then look for OneNote. Or those of you who have no idea whether I have it or not and not curious at all, whether that desktop version is in your laptop or not, then you are welcome to go to your own organization or school email account as if you're going to go check your email. And when you, you all know how to check your email, so you know the school email or work email or organization email I meant. So if you know where to go in our case, in my case, this is the district uh, uh, email that link that I go to. So if I were the LAUSD attendee, then I will go to this um, place, this website, and then I'm going to go ahead and sign in and then I'm going to click the app launcher. Those of you who are new to my um, workshop today, um, and then I will show you what where the app launcher is. So hold on, that's the second way you can log in. The third way is you can straight go, you can simply go straight to office.com. If you go to office.com, this is the little sign in page you will see and go ahead and click sign in. Remember you are signing in, you don't need to get office, you already have office. And so just go straight to office.com and sign in with your own district or your work. Um, email account. Same thing with live.com. You can also go to live.com. Just the signing page is different, but signing method is the same. No matter what you choose, you will get to this page. This page is the page where you can type in your district or your school account. So that is, I am going to give a minute if any one of you are, if, if any of you are um, trying to check out. So if those of you who are interested in checking out, uh, whether you have OneNote or not, I would suggest that now you click on start button. Remember, I use Windows PC, so I do not know how to um, direct the um, Apple Mac users. So all I can tell you is that you click on start button and you can simply type the word OneNote, O-N-E-N-O-T-E. If for any reason you see two types of OneNote, one is OneNote, just one word, or the other one is OneNote Windows 10. No matter what you see, I would, what I'm going to use is the OneNote, OneNote. This OneNote is I'm using, but that's okay. If you don't have OneNote in one word, you are welcome to use the OneNote Windows 10. Or those of you who you really can't find it, you have no idea anymore, then in that case, go simply, go straight to your um, district account and go to App Launcher and open OneNote from there. OneNote, the little icon design is like this. This is the icon. This is the icon you should be looking for. All right. Okay, why don't we do this? I am now gonna take you back to my PowerPoint. Let's take a look at the um, the home page. The the uh, what do you call it? The web version, the web version. If you are going to join me with web version, this is how you will see. And you will see that there is a, a button call, a, but call, a button called app launcher, the waffle icon, that's the street language, but the proper term is app launcher. So if you click on it, you should be able to see what other apps are available. So if you were in, uh, in your email, make sure you click on the app launcher and look for the OneNote icon. There are a bunch of them, OneNote, Word, Drive, Excel, PowerPoint, all kinds of apps are in there in that little waffle icon area. So go ahead and click on it and make sure you are in OneNote so you can follow along with me. But if you are new, the truth to be told, I like to actually observe, watch my, you know, watch, you know, just watch because you're new to it. So watch it and because you are gonna get this video a recording um, soon so you can watch it again or at least you will, re you know, retain some, uh, some uh, information. So please 
whatever method that you wish to use, go ahead. And Melinda made a good point. Remember, you do not need to install the application on your desktop. OK, that's right. So you can just go straight to the browser. This one I just showed you is now this this window, this little um, t toolbar. That dashboard actually is the OneNote desktop version, not the Windows 10 version. This is Windows 10 version. That's a free app version because nowadays our laptops are also tablets. Our tablets are also laptops. So, you know, fancy schmancy uh, new uh, laptops have, you know, both. So in that case, Microsoft wanted OneNote to be available for anyone. So due to that reason, you will also, you may also have Windows 10 version if you're using Windows 10 laptops. So what I am, again, I would like to repeat it. What I'm gonna use is the OneNote desktop version. This desktop version can be downloaded later from your Office um, 365 account, all right? So in case you're wondering what the difference is between using a notebook in the browser, which means the one on the top and the desktop, just take a look at it with me we can briefly take a look at it and we can say, look, there are a lot of more, a lot more tools on the second one, which is the desktop version one, this one, and then this one. So as you can see that, that the, uh, the desktop version allows you to have more tools and it looks like you are using Microsoft Word type, right? Or Excel type. You are so familiar with these buttons, most of these buttons. So that is the cool thing about using desktop version. But that doesn't, when I, you know, that doesn't mean that you cannot use the online version. You can use online version, but please do not expect to have full tools, you know, tools um, sets in here. So that is um, something that I really want to stress and I'm sure it is being recorded. So when you watch this again, I'm sure you will remember that. So let me get rid of the annotation tool. What will happen now is we will check it out and we, I will not be coming back to this PowerPoint because there is nothing more to show in this PowerPoint because OneNote really requires that I show hands-on, you know, just live demo here, click there, click this, click, do this, do that. That is what I have to show. So due to that reason, if you were to receive this PowerPoint and download this PowerPoint and you will say, what is that? I don't know. In that case, please remember to watch the recording that Melinda is recording now. And so you can follow along with it. Since this is 9.30, that means 30 minutes into this web webinar, if you were to skip the first 30 minutes and get to the uh, recording, just remember that, please take notes. So I will stop sharing this PowerPoint and pause for a minute. And I don't see any Q, there is a Q&A. I seem to have OneNote 2013 desktop. Is that too old? It, it is, but don't worry about it. You can still follow along with me. So you are okay. So should I say it's answer alive or something? Yep, it's all taken care of. Thank you, Melinda. So what I'm going to share with you now is the, my, hold on one second, please. Let me open this. Yes. And let me close everything. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you now is the Chrome browser first, but remember, I am going to use the, um, the desktop version just an, a brief leave to show the people, um, uh, the attendees, if you are following with the, um, uh, the web browser version. Okay, where did my... Thing go. There you go. Sorry, people. Too many windows open. Let me quickly close so that way I get more attention here. Melinda, are you there? Okay, good. Yes. I'm going to click on share and here is the website website I'm sharing, right? So basically I can go straight to my own email um, web link, the district email link, or just go straight to office.com or live.com. Why don't I just go straight to office.com? And I will sign in with my account. 
And here I am. As you can see, I am in Office 365. But remember, today's workshop is on OneNote. So here is your app launcher, the waffle icon area. In case you don't see it, it's on the top left. I click on it and here is my OneNote. So I click on the OneNote. On the top, it should tell me here is the OneNote. So basically, we're going to take a look at a few things. You can either, as you can see, not much here, nothing much other than these. These are a few of my recent notebooks that I was working on. So basically, if you were following me, you will simply click on new notebook, give a name, right? So I'm going to call it um, O10. part three, just enough to show you. Okay, this is the no, no, new notebook. Don't worry, you can always change the name. Click create and this is the OneNote website version. The, the interface is like this, as simple as this. You have all these tools that you can um, use. You have insert tools and things that you can um, uh, you know, make use of. Some of them you should be familiar with. Some of them you do not know, no worries. That is the web version and it, is, it has nothing really there. But I already showed you how, to, um, how the, um, the web version will look like. Now I would like to take you to the the desktop version. What I'm going to share with you now is this window. And can you all see a uh, my task bar? Okay, whoever can see you yes. can either. Yes, oh, very good. Thank you so much. I would like your attention here. I already made um, a little to a pin uh, icon. So this is the OneNote desktop version I am looking for. So basically, I will go ahead and click on that to open my desktop version. Can you still see it, the gray color? Are we good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much. This is my OneNote desktop version. This is the place where I will spend a long time until almost the end of the workshop. So for the record, this is the OneNote desktop version 2016. It's okay if you have 2013, you can still follow along. If you don't see what I have, one, the tools that I have, don't be alarmed, just that your version is a little bit older um, or different versions that you are using. The reason I have it into a grayish color is because I want to, I don't want to confuse you guys with this purplish color, which is the, the the web version and here is the desktop version. So I you know, deliberately changed the color on that. So we, here, first we're gonna have to do is it says there, you don't have any open notebooks. So click here to add one or go to file. So I can just click on it and then I can go ahead and add new. So I here is the decision making um, time. What is the, what's the decision I need to make? Do I want to save that OneNote for now in my desktop computer or laptop computer in the lo local? Or do I want to simply save it right on the OneDrive folder? Remember the files that you create in one notebook or the sections and the pages and everything, they're all saved in that OneDrive. Those of you who attended my OneDrive workshop back in last week, back Tuesday, um, you will know that the files, anything to do with Microsoft Office 365, they're all saved in OneDrive. So I have a choice of saving in OneDrive or I can have a choice of saving in this PC. Don't worry, wherever you choose, you can always change back. So. I'm going to go ahead and say, save it on OneDrive. Then all I want to save it is you decide where you want to, depends on your screen because my screen has all these little folders. So I'm going to simply save it in a folder, already ready made folder. It is already there. You should find it in your own OneDrive too. So automatically there. The reason I'm able to find OneDrive is because I downloaded OneDrive in the past. That is the reason. Those of you who don't have OneDrive, don't worry too much about it. Simply save it in your PC. So once you save it on your PC, you can say where is it that you want. So I actually want it on or inside a folder called documents. Inside the 
folder called documents, I already have a folder called notebooks. So I can simply open that notebooks folder and I'm going to say O10 series three. I know I deliberately changed different names, right? So this is another mode notebook I'm creating inside my local computer. I simply will click create. Before I create, I want your attention way up there. Remember, you are creating a new notebook, a new notebook, just like you just went to 99 cent store or whatever to buy a whole brand new notebook, just like this. I didn't have to go to 99 cent store. I just click a few mouse clicks and here I have brand new notebook. It looks like a white screen sheet, right? It has nothing in it. So don't worry too much. Let's be Sherlock Holmes. As a Sherlock Holmes, you can do this. Take a look at the screen. OK, what are these? OK, this is home. If I click home, I have all these tools. OK, no problem. What if I click on insert? Oh, I see file printout. I see spreadsheet. Oh, what is this screen clipping? Interesting. I've never seen it. Or oh, page templates. I see a bunch of pen, not a bunch yet, but you will see it. And then look at the draw. If you are using tablet, you've got lots of tools to play with. Or in case you are wondering, what did I type in, you know, uh, previously your history, the uh, previous versions, or here you can review your, you know, spelling. And if you were to use this one note as a notebook for your students and your staff, um, then you better check your spellings and and make sure everything is, you know, a proper and professional. And then here you can view: Do I want something this white up white screen sheet as a rule? Different type of rules, or do you want it as a grid, like a math portion, or do I just want plain old? you know, screen. So this is how you can check it out. So you can decide what type of rule lines you want or what type of grid lines you want. Depends on what you teach or depends on what you don't teach. <laughs> the reason I said what you don't teach is I don't teach a class. So I don't have any, any use for any of these things but I do have a use for none because I want blank sheet. That is how you can come and look around each and every tool, um, you know, tabs to see different tools. Before, uh, I would like to do a couple of things first. One second, um, let's see. Let's take a look at this area, this dark gray area where it says Oten series three, three. That means it is the name of my notebook. As you can see, it's a notebook. I have a section. Remember, each notebook has sections. If you buy a whole, uh, you know, three, three, three sections notebook, five sections notebook. I don't know. How, uh, you, I'm sure you all have purchased uh, at least once in your uh, or used once in your lifetime. Um, so you will have sections. But what if I want to add more sections? You simply click on the plus sign and then you call it whatever it is that you want. To. And then you add the third section. Please note each section has different colors. Doesn't it look like our um, li you know, real life notebook type? So instead of having on the right side, all these sections are on the top. How about, let's go back to section one. The color, I would like someone or anyone to write, what color am I, am I under? Uh, uh, sorry. What color is the new section? Can somebody just say something or type something? Light blue, that's correct. That means I am in section one. The reason I know I am in section one is look at the right side. The right side is a bluish color. What about now? What section am I in? Green three, that's correct. It's green color, it's greenish color, yes. Um, so on the right side, it tells you green. So that is how you can see what section you are on. Remember in the real life notebook, you open the notebook and you see the first section and you can call it like, I don't know, chemistry. Then you are a college student where uh, you are a college student at this time in this scenario. And let's say you are taking 
English literature or you are taking a math. Each section, you got to have pages, right? So you can take notes. So now I'd like your attention to on the light, right. On the right side, you will see untitled page. That means your first page. This is your first page because you have no pages at all. So due to that reason, you will simply just type in here when you see untitled page, you simply type and you can say week one, or oh, sorry, or uh, I don't know, day one um, lecture notes, or whatever it is that you want to say. That whatever you type will reflect on the right side. As you can see, it says untitled. Now it is no longer seen as untitled. It is, it has a title now. What if I were to change it? Remember those of you who attended my workshop, I love to right click. Let's right click. Once you right click, you've got rename, de delete. You can simply delete that whole sheet. By the way, that page, cut, copy, paste, and so on and so forth. In this case, we want to change the name. Anytime you see it's highlighted for you, it means it's ready for you to type. So you can just say whatever it is that you want to rename. Right, so that's how you have a page. But what if I were to add more pages? Remember, run with OneNote, you will never run out of pages. So you simply click Add Page. If you click Add Page, there comes another untitled page. Until you give a, pay, a title, then you can have it. You can call this Lecture Materials. There comes your day two. I need more, you simply click on more. But this time I am not interested in creating blank sheet anymore. What I would like is a page template. So I would like to go straight to insert on the top. And here is the page templates. On my day two, I will have a, a blank sheet, but for my day three, I'm going to use the page templates. These templates, if I were to click simply, don't click on the down arrow, but simply click on the, uh, the, the, the picture itself, you will see on the right side, you've got a bunch of templates. I have my templates, which I could, you can create your own, or you can create academic if you're a student, or if you have students that you are teaching them, you can simply click on it. Watch what happens, please. I'm gonna click on lecture notes and study questions. It is automatically done for me. What it means is, of course, you have to fill in the information. You are the student, right? But you still have all these little sections created for you. What if I were to do some business uh, note taking? I am a secretary or I need to take some notes. I need to create, I need to have some kind of detailed meeting notes. Look at the meeting title. You can just call it whatever the uh, uh, title is, the meeting details, you can put the date and time. Remember as a secretary or whoever you are, if you are taking a note, you gotta have all this information filled in already when the meeting starts, voila, you can just start typing whatever the people say, whatever it is that you need to type off, everything. You can just have all these materials ready. And when the time comes, when the, when the meeting uh, actually starts, you simply go ahead and start typing it, right? This is it. It is nothing fancy. You just double click on it. You just start typing whatever it is you want. You don't have to worry too much about, can I change the color? No problem. Go change it. You want to make it bold? Go bold it. You want to make it into red color? Go make it red whatever it is you all are so familiar with using Microsoft Word, all these tools are there for you, all right? So that is the template that we can use. I'm gonna simply close it, but as you, as you can see, I created day one and day two on the right side, day one, day two, nothing yet. On the title, this is no particular title yet because I have not really given any title and I have no use for this anymore. Can somebody re get ready with your chat in the chat? Can somebody tell me how I can get rid of this page? What method do I like to use? 
Right click and delete. Thank you. So I'm going to simply right click and here is the delete. It is gone. I now have three pages. If I were to, very nice. Thank you everyone for um, uh, chatting back with me. Now, if I were to go ahead and rename, I can do or I can go ahead and delete it. But let's go back to chemistry, um, blue color section. What if I go to now to math and I want to have my math, um, um, I don't know, I have to have a, some kind of a, you know, a specific topic because you don't always, it's not always algebra, algebra, algebra or geometry. So I don't know, you can say triangle. So anything to do with triangles, you will like to, um, you know, have information on or whatever the topic that you have. Remember, you are not, you don't have to be students. You can create sections for your classes. The sky is the limit. And, and, and so if you have, if you teach ESL classes, you can call it, you know, beginning low. Or if you teach a computer class, you can just call it, um, you know, interview uh, section, especially on your, you know, computer operating classes that you might want to have, whatever section, whatever topic, whatever lesson that you are teaching, you just have a section with multiple pages. All right. So, Rosanna, we have a couple of questions that came in about templates. Would you like uh, to address yes. those now or? Yeah, I will do that. Our template is found on the web version. Actually, this, there should be. So if I were to go back here to the insert, um, you may have to you have to go and download it from the office add-ins. I'm not sure if you can see it. Not, um, all, I, and not all networks allow that. Not on that here. Yeah. So can she show again how to get to templates page? Um, I can only show you on the desktop version in this gray color dashboard on the top that you see is the desktop version again. So basically you go straight to insert. Then you go to pages group and you simply click on page templates. I hope I get it. Where is the add page in a web version? Um, it is a good point. Okay, so add, okay, so you need to look down. I'm gonna use the annotate toolbar. I am gonna, I'm showing you the web version on the bottom. Do you see add page plus sign? You see yes. that? Yes. There you go. That's what it is. So that's where you can add it. So thank you. All right. Let me get rid of this annotation tool and back to my desktop version. Okay. So now on the desktop version. Um, right. So we have several sections with different colors. Let's say you want to change color. Remember my, my method? Right click. Once I right click section color can be changed to any color of your choice. So let's make it blue. So he, oh, we already have blue and let's make it red. Here we go. So I now have different sections, different colors and all the things that you want. So simply title it, put any title you want. Then you start typing your notes. So you start typing your notes. And if you want to finish with this box, you simply double click outside. And then there is another note and you simply click outside another note. You see how cool this is. It means you can make each and every box movable. You are allowed to use this. This is your canvas where you can move things around. It doesn't have to be always words, right? It can be a, a list. What if I want to say, um, I need to get stuff. I don't know why I'm thinking of food. Sorry, people, I am hungry. Um, bread, carrots, oh, things like that, right? But let, remember, this is a list. Why don't I make it into a to-do list? Simply select them, go straight to home, click to-do tab. Okay, Farzana, we seem to have lost you. Not again. There we go. No, no, no. It, you came back. You're okay. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> we saw that you made the list. Okay, I made the list. And, and if you were to come back to this note and you say, you know what? I got bread already. Simply click on it. I have 
I got the carrots. You simply click on it. Or if you are not sure about this broccoli, then you say, you know what? I'm not sure about it. I want to put a tag. Of course, these are very easy stuff, right? So I'm going to simply go look at the list of things that you have. So for example, you want to say broccoli. If you're going to make a broccoli cheese, then you soup, you better have broccoli, right? So you're going to mark important. So now broccoli becomes so important, you got to get it. Of course, I'm making it light and fun. Um, food is everyone who like it. You know, all of you teach different subjects. So you come up with your own ideas. But I'm at least giving you my the ideas that uh, things that you can do. As you can see, I can move things around. So if I don't like something, I simply click on it and I can click delete. It's gone. Sometimes I make a boo-boo, no problem. I click delete, I just go. And now here, let's say I want to put a some kind of a website. Here is a website, but I want this website. I, I don't know what this website is. I need to check it out. In that case, I will simply go and type this here. I mean, select this tag. What is this tag? It says website to visit. It tells me I need to check out this website. So sometimes you go to a lecture or a conference and you somebody said, check this out, you know, find out more about here and there, you simply put these little tags. You don't need to type words like, you know, I need to check this out or stars or any of those. Check these out, figure it out. Amazing stuff that you can do with these tags, okay? I'm looking at the q and I don't have any Q&A, so can I continue or am I on a speedboat? What's happening? I think you're okay. Um, a, a clarification, um, the colors. On the online version, the sections can be colored mm -hmm. and the page follows that colorization. That's correct. So okay. if I were to click uh, section one, I will call it, oops. And the, as you can see, the color of the page is also greenish. So the same as the desktop version. I am going to take you back to my desktop. Can somebody tell me what color am I in? Type it, I meant. <laughs> green. Look at the page list. I'm a page column. Is it also green? Yes. OK, yes. That means same as your web version. OK, so that is something you need to know. Um, those of you who are very fast and, you know, quick and all this, uh, you know, when you type and do stuff, please don't expect um, um, uh, unless you have extremely fast Internet. But if you don't, don't expect um, uh, all the things to be synced so fast. The truth to be told, I thought I have the fastest, you know, Internet on the block. Yeah, right. It even it takes about three minutes to sync on the desktop and to the uh, um, um, uh, to the web version, but patient. Okay, so just remember that. So back to my my list here. I was working on some kind of, I believe here, right? I was working on stuff like that. But this is some plain old one. So what I would like your attention is, um, is everything okay? I just saw a Q and A. I don't want to. Oh, what if I made my grocery list while I was taking business meeting notes and I want to move it to a, to a section? That's correct. So you can either you can go ahead and um, uh, copy this one. And you can make it, but remember, I like if I if you were to make a grocery list while you're taking a note, don't even use on the same page that you are, right? So you can go straight to quick notes. There is a quick notes area on the top where it says Orton City Series 3 or whatever the notebook that you have. There is a quick notes area. You can simply click quick notes and you can type up whatever information you can say. Grocery list. Sometimes we do think about stuff, right? Weird stuff in the middle of their meeting. And you go ahead and type. You just type whatever it is. Once you finish, you are welcome to come back to that same, you know, quick notes area whenever you are ready. It's always there. It's in your computer. So that's something, okay? All right. Um, in terms of coloring the checklist, I tell you can, yes, you can only color the words, but not the, uh, the you know, um, 
what do you call it? Not the, the color itself. So you can just make it like this, different colors. That's all you can do, as you can see. That you place on any time you can color your font, your, your, your words and paragraphs here, you can do the same thing. That's why I am bringing in you to this desktop version to show you, not that you cannot do it on the web version, but you can still do it in here too. All right. So I'm going to go back and show you finished, no, in progress product to give you more idea of what I'm talking about. This notebook that I created with you all is it's for now I want to put it to rest until later. So if I am done with this, what I would do is I would right click. Remember the right click, right click on my notebook. I want your attention in two places. Close this notebook. If I'm done, I would like to close it so it can go ahead and sync it in the if needed. Or the next one I would like your attention is here, properties. When you click on properties, I want you to remember in the beginning, I created this notebook in my local computer, which is known as documents folder. In the folder called notebooks, the name of that notebook is Odin series three. Let's say I want to change the whole name to one, note lecture so in that case i can come and change my name the name of the notebook here i can simply change the color of the notebook not sections but the color the section color uh, the notebook color is now orangish i don't know what color that is i think or oh, yellowish and now let's say i want to change i no longer want it on my desktop computer or laptop local computer i want to change it and put it onto my onedrive just for the record since it is being recorded i already have onedrive installed onto my computer so i'm going to simply click on onedrive and i'm going to go and browse notebooks um, if i can find it notebooks right up there or it's alphabetical order so you can just go ahead and go by alphabetical order you click notebooks once you have your notebooks remember you are syncing an allocation so you just have to click select once you do that you can go ahead and you are selecting a notebook folder inside your OneDrive to save Odin um, uh, you know notebook just click select as you can see here your notebook is now syncing to the new location. Even though I have sync and share on the bottom of my PowerPoint, I am gonna show you, I just showed you how to sync it. That is how you can do it here. Click OK, because this note, one note, I cannot go in, in that order. I have to show it to you so the whole concept can be understood. So click OK. Once I finish with it, and here, I have Odin series three, and I want you to take a look at something. If I were to right click sync this notebook now, it will go ahead and sync. So I'm going to right click on the notebook and sync this notebook now, and it's going to sync, which you and I cannot see. But what you can do is this, right click, notebook sync status. If you look at it now, and if you feel so anxious, sync it again. If you don't feel you're confident, look at it. It says up to date, last sync at 10 a.m. If you look at the clock now, it is 10 a.m. And if you still feel anxious, go click on sync now and it will sync it again. That's the only thing that you have to do. Okay, so I am going to, I'm done with it, I'll close it, and I would like to close this whole notebook. I have no more need for this notebook. So I will simply close notebook. This notebook is closed. This quick book note, quick notes will still stay there. But this time, for the, the first 30 minutes or 20 minutes or 15 minutes, I showed you how to create, how to tech, put text and all this, everything, but I have not shown you how to do the different type of tool, how to use the different type of tools other than a little bit of to do and a little bit of text. But what I'm about to show you is totally meat and potatoes, okay? Again, I'm talking about food. My God, I must be hungry again. So 
what we're going to do is this open let's open what if you have an existing notebooks i have an existing notebooks that i created for you guys so i go ahead and open it's going to ask me where is your notebook here it is where is it i actually saved it as in my OneDrive, and it is also known it is under the folder call depends on your version it will call either call out uh, one note books or notebooks. So look for the words OneNote or notebooks. And once I have it here, here is my 21 day diet. Don't worry, I'm not going on any diet. I just love talking about food. So something that I am always, uh, you know, <laughs> thinking about. So here is my notebook. I just want you guys to look for the chat button and get ready with your words, uh, keyboard. Doesn't it look a bit inviting, neat, looking good? Something that makes you feel like organized? Can somebody say yes, no, what? Whatever it is, I'm going to give you a chance to talk. Are those check boxes? Yes, those are check boxes. Looks cool. Yes. So let's say I. this is my shopping list. On my shopping list, I can simply say, I got eggs in the house, in the fridge, no way, right? I have it. So then what if I look at my pantry items and I said, you know what? I already have coconut oil. I have balsamic vinegar. I have garlic powder. The rest of them, I've got nada. Let's go shopping. That's correct. Powdered, I have no idea how to even pronounce it. Erythritol, somebody just, you know, figure it out that powder i have no idea what that is right on my sh my shopping list so did you see the little tag that i put a question mark i put a sh question mark what if i were to give this this um you know uh, to to a staff to take care of this or that or you know whoever or then you they may they can put it you know, or they can say, you know what, salt, what else I need to do? Almond flour, it is big deal. So simply go ahead and make it important. Things like that, you can put tags, produce, I have everything in here. Do you notice a picture here? I even brought in a picture and I even made this picture into a, um, a page background. So the question is, how did you do that, right? I go, I simply go to insert. I go to pictures. I, if you have an existing picture, good for you. If you don't have it, go straight to online pictures. Unless you are selling your product and everything, you be mindful of your copyright. But right now I already have pictures. So I will simply go straight to my pictures and then let's find some food items somewhere if I can find um, no food. Let's get some flowers. So I have roses here. I bring it in. I have picture. Here is my picture, right? So remember right click. You simply right click on the image. You click set picture as background. Watch what happens. This is now a, an image that is now a, a background. I can type up on top of the background. You see that it is not an object anymore. If you change your mind about this background, you simply, what do you think I will click? Can somebody tell me? Oh, did I lose you guys? If I were to- You're okay. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> right click, that's right. Right click. So I'm gonna right click and I turn off this check mark. So this is a toggle option okay a toggle a uh, option so you can click on check mark to make it a, an image and you can click on check mark to on the image to make it a background so that is what you can do so simply look at this is now here is another image which I had. I can just move it around. Remember, it was an image. It was a background. Now it is no longer in a background. I can simply delete it. What do? How did I delete? Press the delete button. That's all. Okay. Whatever you have learned in the past about Word, how to type, how to delete, how to click, how to do this, please make use of those tools and skills that you already have. Okay. So that's what it is. What if I 
what about this? Look at my list, right? We're going to go back and look at a few things. I want to undo everything again because I want to leave it for, I want to come back here. Do you notice I have all these squiggly circles around each item? In this item, what it is was that if you were to use your iPad or your tablet or your sub, s, s, uh, smartphone and you can download OneNote and you can quickly use download and then you can sync this whole OneNote and then you can go ahead and put a check mark with your finger and stuff like that. That is um, I, perhaps I might do it in my second series, uh, uh, you know, um, or a part two series on OneNote. But at this time, just know, just like you can check it here on your desktop, you can do it on your phone and your tablet because OneNote can be downloaded to your iPhone or iPad or anything, Samsung. I want your attention now to the right before I go on, I have a question answer. Would you use OneNote to create an online agenda or would you use OneNote to keep notes from your meeting? Both, I can do both. The only, the, the, because of the nature of my work, um, I, I, I tend to use OneNote for my, you know, uh, lecture notes. Um, so I, I use it because I never know how to type, um, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Meeting notes. I never take notes uh, in the meeting. Um, I, so in that case, I can't see anything, but, what I would do is this, and to whoever asked me, I want your attention now. Let's say I am terrible, terrible. No, not let's say, it is the truth. I am terrible at taking notes in meetings. What I could do is this. Why don't I open a new page? I'm going to call it advisor meeting. And I have no idea. I don't know how to type. I, I mean, I know how to type. I'm terrible at that, listening and everything. I would take my tablet. I'm going to go to the meeting. This is what I'm going to do. Do you see? Can I have your attention, please? Go straight to insert button. Go straight to record audio. You simply click audio. Advi audio recording started at 10 or 8 a.m., which means now. It is now recording whatever I'm saying. So just imagine a, a presenter is saying something or your principal is saying something or your staff is saying something and you are able to take some notes, but not all notes. So this recording is recording this it's recording the whole thing, whatever is happening in the meeting, whoever is talking, and you have uh, extra points that you want to make notes of. You want to say, remember to talk to Farzana after about this topic, whatever the you know presenter is saying. So if you can type not slow like me, of course, type like, you know, a type of typist, then you can also take notes while you are recording. So I am done recording. How do I, how, how can I stop? Can somebody look at with me together? Well, no, all of you. On the top, it says stop. So now you can click stop. This recording is done. It is recorded. So make sure you let people know that you are recording if you use that feature. Wonderful. That's right, Melinda. Thank you very much. And so I, um, so that's what it is. Okay. So you might want to think about recording it. And if in any case you are wondering how you can do that. And the person who asked me a question, Savita, yes, this I am now showing you the web version where you can see. Um, let me type something. Here is the recording on the insert audio. It allows you to record. So unfortunately, it only allows you to record the audio and not the video. So I am back to my desktop. All right. So did I answer the question? I think yes. So you can take notes and you can watch the you can watch your, you know, your, your record, listen to your recording and recording even what you type in the middle of your recording, it can actually, you can listen to it. You want to make notes of, you want to say, remember to talk to Farzana. As you can after. see, as you can see, when I was typing, it actually highlighted. So I don't even have to look for the audio, you know, which minute they talked about it. It remembers so you can check it out. Serious tool. So please check it out. 
be, you know, be the explorer and learn more because in one and a half hours, I can't teach everything. But definitely, I have introduced you that feature. So please take a look at it. The next thing I would like you to uh, come along with me is this. This is my, um, I have four sections, as you can see. I have week one, pinkish color. I have week two, I have a green color, three, orange color, and I have notes. Week three, I have nothing because I have nothing seriously, it's all blank. Week two, I have one page, as you can see, and the name of the page is called shopping list on the right, just follow the color. I am looking at the pink color with the week one, I have all the materials that I need, and take a look at my right side. Here on the right side, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven pages, and I don't need this advisor meeting. You can right click and delete. Of course, you know that. But what if I go to chorizo uh, breakfast bake? Look at that. I highlighted it. I can write it in. If you have a tablet, you can bring in the image. So here is the question that you might be asking or thinking, how did you bring in this image? I know you don't make it for Zana. Absolutely, absolutely right. You are right. I did not make it. What I did was this. I simply open a browser. I go to pixels.com or you can just go to google.com as long as you're not selling anything and, and violating anything. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and type chorizo breakfast. And here I've got pictures and images and I like these images. Here is the image that I like, as you can see. You know what I'm gonna do? Here is that something called, this is, remember, I'm on, on the browser, okay? I want you to simply leave it alone and you come back to your image here. On the image, let me close unnecessary stuff. Okay, all right. So on the image here, let's say I want an image. I would like to draw your attention to the top again. Come to the, click on the insert button on the top. Click screen clipping. You see screen clipping? That clipping will show me which window you want. So, oh, I cannot actually show it to you. Um, I don't know what you can see. Can can you guys see some grayish light tone, light screen? Your zoom with the plus is, sign? Your zoom is transparent. That's what that's correct. Saying. That's right. Yeah. That's right. My zoom is transparent. Unfortunately, I have two. No, actually, not unfortunately, but I have two screens. So it went to the other screen. So if you have one screen, imagine the chorizo is here. <laughs> so you can just click on it and you use that that what do you call it the um, the plus sign okay you just drag it take the picture that you want you just screen clipped it that's what it is okay so i'm going to because of my two screens it can only show me the screen that i have so what i'm going to show you is this screen if i want it if you have one monitor you would be able to screenshot it okay it's just that it cannot do it because i have two screens and i don't want to turn off the other one because i don't want to mess up this um, recording and everything so the bottom line is whatever it is that you have make sure you use the screen clipping to um, go ahead and get whatever it is that you need and it will automatically be put in here for you because it came from one note screen clipping it already knows you screen clipped this page on November 10th at 10, 14 a.m. Isn't it cool? It even tells you that when you record, when you screen clipped it, okay? So that is something that you might want to uh, check it out. The next one I would like to show you is this. How about this? Did you see an Excel um, table? It's actually, it's Excel table. What if you were working on a group project and someone is working on an Excel, some of you are working on a list, some of you are working on, um, you know, research items or, you know, Word documents, literature items, and each one has its own task. In that case, instead of retyping, creating a table in here, and you know, whatever the Excel, someone else has done it, don't do that. You ask that person, give me your Excel file, or if he or she is in that group, you can simply 
create, I mean, you can simply bring in the Excel spreadsheet. If you look at the top, I am moving my mouse to the top. You can bring in a spreadsheet, existing spreadsheet, or you can print out. You see a file printout. What you see is an existing file is already there. I created it painstakingly on an Excel sheet and I don't have to retype it here because I can simply click on file printout, go and find the file that you need, which is called, I believe I call it week one plan, week two plan, week three plan. So I'm gonna click on week two because I already have week one plan. Here is week two. It is an Excel, as you can see, Excel SX. So I will click insert, watch what happens. The whole week, this is week one. Here, oh, I need to change the, the, the title. The, blue, the green color is my week two. And here it is. If you were to get this, this is now file printout, okay? It's like a printing out and putting it in here. What if we were to bring, bring in a spreadsheet instead? Existing, remember week two, I already have an existing. So I will simply click on existing Excel sheet. If you don't have it, you've got to create it, sorry. But, and if you have a, a, you know, a member working on it, great. Why don't I bring in week three now? Here is a question, attach file, insert spreadsheet, insert a chart or a table. So I want to insert the spreadsheet. I will simply bring in the spreadsheet. Watch it is a whole spreadsheet, which you can actually edit inside the OneNote and it will reflect it back over there. This is a file printout. This is a file printout, but this is a spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and click edit. It will open Excel. As you can see, this is my Excel. I can go ahead and change the word week three. I save, I close, and hopefully it should come back and show me. Did you all see week three is changed? Can somebody say yes or no to boost me? I feel too quiet. <laughs> Okay, good, thank you. I have not uh, put you all to sleep, so thank you very much for that. So bottom line is if you have an existing, someone is you know, in your team is working on Excel, you found a mistake, you change it, you do that, and all, this, all these things, okay? So that is something about files that you can do. How about you want to record a video? Again, you know that you have a something that you want to do. So then you can click record, uh, record a video. As you can see, my, uh, my video is being recorded, so whatever I'm saying now. And once I'm done, click stop. So it is stopped. So here is the video. You can watch it again. As you can see, my uh, my video is being recorded. So as you, if you were to you know, create some lessons for your students with the video all in one place, you can create a little video or you can bring in any video that you want uh, from your, you know, from YouTube or any other places, things like that you might want to do. So that has to do with insert. What I would like to do is I'm going to take a look at QA. There is no QA. Um, <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, Melinda, yes. uh, am I okay or what's You're happening? You're okay. Everything's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, you've got about 10, 15 minutes. Yes, yes. Okay. Almost done. So what I would like your attention now is this. Those of you who want to, who are very organized with, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, organized and, and you want to start using OneNote, not, you know, you remember, there is no such thing as you're going to become a master in, in, in a one and a half hour workshop or after one and a half hour workshop. You practice, 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 because we are teachers. We tell the students, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. So you got to practice. How do you practice? Start using it. Do you need to feel frustrated? No, you don't. So due to that reason, that's my little you know, reminder again. If you feel frustrated, click on anything and start learning. Just observe. What I want on my agenda, agenda I notice is that I have not told you anything about meeting details. What it is is this. If you were 
to create a whole brand new page. Let me create a whole brand new page and I'm going to call it um, meeting with, oh, I already have meeting with customers. Meeting with vendors, okay? And I have some kind of, you know, agenda ready, or if I have already sent out some kind of um, appointment, Zoom meet link or Zoom meeting or something, in that case, I can simply go. Before I go and click, I want your attention here first. I am in home. How do I know I'm in home? I have underlined underneath the word home. If I were under insert, it will underline insert. But back to home, I am clicking on home tab and I have meeting details. Just to remind you again, I am in my desktop version. Here is the meeting details. If I were to click on meeting details, it would tell me what's happening in my calendar. I have two workshops happening. One is with Melinda, I mean O10, which is currently happening. And at one o'clock, I'm going to have my workshop with my Tech Talk with Farzana for my Evans teachers. Excuse me. Um, it will happen at 1 p.m. So I have an agenda here and I have an agenda here. But if I were to bring in this on my note, I will simply click on my my calendar item here. Watch. Once I click on this, it says my meeting subject is Microsoft Office, da, 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 da. meeting date is from at 9 a.m., everything. If you have agenda or anything attached to your own calendar, everything will pop up. That is the beauty of this. I don't have anything in here, but it is so cool that you can do it, okay? Or if you want to go back to the previous date or, or previous, you know, a week or something, you can simply let me go back. I went so fast. You can simply click on meeting details, choose a meeting from another day. And if you already have it, cool. If you don't have it, click on the little calendar on the top and go ahead and select specific date that you have. Let's find out if I have anything. And yep, there was a staff meeting and I'm gonna click insert details. And it says it's already associated with a meeting. So I can either continue adding or add a whole new page. So here is another meeting. So you can only, you know, you can have both meetings, but you might want to have separate pages. So that way easily you can, you know, um, pinpoint. So that's called meeting details. Now imagine, Look at the lemon poppy ricotta, ricotta pancakes. I've got blueberry coconut porridge. Ooh, look at the sesame beef lettuce wraps. And here it is. All these things. Yes, imagine you need to send this page to your colleague, your student, your friend, anybody. You need to send it. Is it lunchtime yet? No, I am not yet. It is breakfast time. All right, let's go back to breakfast. Anyone want to eat a healthy bake, uh, baked eggs and avocado? Or how about the porridge? Let's go, go for porridge. Or I like this one. I'm gonna stick with the pancakes, okay? So let's say I wanna share this um uh, uh, ingredients are uh, the the two you know how to uh, what is it called recipe actually recipe with melinda sorry melinda you're getting an email from me here it is you go straight to home and you click email page it doesn't say email notebook what does it say it says email page you click email page and it's going to go ahead and open a my email which is connected to my outlook can you, can somebody tell me, can you see my Outlook page? Because sometimes this share is weird. Um, my Outlook um, window. Yes, okay. So here it is. I'm going to send Melinda this recipe. As you can see, I don't have to do anything. Everything, the whole page is right here for her. And I can just say, enjoy. And I will send it out to her. Simply that, that's all. A click here, a click there. Let's say, as you can see, this is an image. Remember my screen clipping? I seriously screen clipped the, uh, the company Martha Stewart page. I went there, I looked for it, I liked what I saw, I clicked on it, I came back to my OneNote, I went to insert, 
I click on screen clipping, I just simply select it, whatever the whole instruction or this recipe, you see that I simply clicked it. I just, this is an image by the way, and I brought it here. But those of you who are curious, is there any way I can, I can make it, I can, I can copy text from picture? Oh, yes, you can. You can simply copy all these words into uh, from this image to a to, to a, word, a list of words. How would you do it? Can somebody tell me what my favorite method is? Right click. Excellent. So what I would do is go to the image I want. I right click. Copy text from picture. Remember the top, Martha Stewart, lemon, poppy, seed, ricotta, pancakes. Click on it. Once I do it, wait for a second, two seconds, three seconds, hopefully coming. You better not embarrass me. I love technology, but I don't trust them. I was doing, I think it's doing somewhere. It better be doing it. So there is a delay. So I'm going to copy text it is somehow still not doing. It means my internet is the case, but I'm gonna go find something else. Thank you. So let's go ahead and try this image then. I'm gonna right click copy text from image picture. So it, it should be popping by the way. It is, it's, if it doesn't do it, it has to do with internet. It has nothing to do with, um, uh, the, the, you know, nothing to do with it. As you can see all these chorizo, breakfast burritos and all these things, I did not type it just for the record. This was all created using that same method. So I, it failed on me. So the only thing you could do is this, make sure you right click, copy text from picture. Please try this as soon as you can, or whenever you want to, please make a note of it, take a picture of it. So you will see what I'm talking about. Copy text from picture, and it will pop up around here with all these words unformatted. Okay. What it means is you need to format on your own. All right. So let's look at something where I have actually did this one. Oh, not this one either. Week one plan. Where was it? I created it. Lemon, you didn't work here. This one, as you can see, I just selected them. I even made them into, you know, bold and uh, header two or header three, whatever it is that you want to make it, you come and format any way you want to. That's quite a lot of stuff that I just showed you guys, right? But bottom line is you have known all these tools. You just don't know how what to do with them. At least hopefully I believe that I have shown you what to do with them. My last part, it is already 1030 and my last piece is this. Let's imagine yourself, you want to go ahead and print. How would you print? The way to do is this, you go to view, you go to view and you want to make sure that if you don't want to make it as a rule and anything, you are fine as, you know, as a white um, blank note as it is fine. You can go straight to paper size on the right side. I'm not sure if you can see it yet on the right side, you will see paper size. The size that I have is called re, uh, letter size in a, a, by default it is always auto it auto means it gives you a lot of space but it is not printable yet so then then you change it to letter because you want to print it as in letter way letter size as you can see it all automatically made it for me to a letter size once you are ready you simply click file you click print and you, you can just go ahead and click print preview. This is how it will look like. You make sure your, your printer is connected. You simply click print. And I don't need to teach you how to print because that's how it is. So that is how you can print. What about you want to export it? No problem. You want to export that to it to your colleague. Click on file, export. You see nothing to memorize. It says there, export. How do you want to export? Just a page, chorizo page, just a whole section called uh, week one or the whole notebook, whatever you decide. Remember in a notebook, there are only three parts, a whole notebook, 
with the sections, with the pages. So you decide if you, are, you only want to send a page, you simply click page. What is it that you want? You want someone to fix it? Word document. You want someone to type it in Word document, or if you want someone to open only with the OneNote, then leave it alone. Or you want someone to have it as a PDF, select PDF. Once you have everything that you need, you simply click export. And this file will now be exported. So you just say, I want to export it to on my desktop, the shopping list. You know, you can have it as a PDF, so you can take it with you when you actually go shopping. And it is a PDF format you click save. Once you click save, it will be a PDF. How do I know it's a PDF? Because here it is, a uh, shopping list. Here it says shopping list that I just exported. Here is a whole page. So that concludes my workshop. So can I, let me see. Any QA here? I see a QA and um, I forgot how to shrink the webinar window that I'm sure uh, Melinda took care of it. Yeah, um, Farzana, at the top of your, your Q&A button, click open. Mm -hmm. Open, open, open. Ah, okay, there you go, sorry about that. <laughs> Can you copy text from picture in the older other version too? Actually, 2013 and 2016 should allow you to do that. Yes. And remember, in the beginning of the workshop, I mentioned if you use web version, a lot of limitations. So that is one of the reasons I wanted you guys to have meat and potato, you know, all oh, some good tools. That is the reason I I deliberately introduced this um, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft OneNote desktop version in case you are really yeah, interested in, just go ahead and um, you know check out online and try to see uh, Outlook 2016 or 2010, depends on your, you know, your computer, um, if you can download them with your district account or organization account. All right.